Depends when you do it. <laughs> Today we're going to go to the pond and try to catch some bluegill, maybe get some eater size, uh, show you how to clean them up, and then maybe tomorrow I might fry some up, show you guys how I like to cook fish another way, and might try to catch a couple bass just to see if they're biting on top water. So here we go. Got him. Got him on the old buzz bait. Little bank. Little healthy guy though. So you probably did seen me bluegill fish before. And it's gonna be the same setup little tiny hook split shot then just to a little bobber probably start about two foot down move from there I'm gonna try these little gold worms see if they ain't biting on them but then I got some real worms just in case they ain't biting on the fake ones so here we go Like he wants to be a good one. Yep, he is. Another green sunfish, hand size. Yep, in the bucket, just like the other one. Pretty one. Oh yeah. One big enough. Pretty one though, bluegill. Got my worm back. It's a little teeny piece of worm. That's probably not a bluegill. <laughs> Pull and drag. Unless it's a good bluegill. Oh, it is a bluegill. Wow. Good one, too. He fought hard. Another hand size. Green sunfish. Nah. That might be just, some, that's a normal bluegill. Never mind. That's a normal bluegill. Got him. Good one. Feels good. Yep. Another good bluegill. Yeah. 
in the bucket. Where that works, got him. Little guy. Let's see if they won't eat one of them fake worms. Found some active fish. Never hurts to try new things. Give it a little try. And these worms were kind of dried out, so I put some of that fish oil that you put on your swim baits and jigs. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that pretty fish. Good keeper size right there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Woo hoo hoo, that's a big fish. I ain't gonna eat him, he's too big. Oh my. Compared. Good lord, man. The thing is huge. Worms. Got him back. That was a good fish. Put that big one back. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Ow. Little guy. They're about to use all my worm up. One left. One worm, but we can make it into a bunch more. One piece at a time. Woo! Windy. Got him. Not quite big enough. Boop. Another good one. He'll eat. A couple more to keep and then we'll finish out the worm. Oh guy. There you go. He'll keep.
I think one more in the bucket. And I got a little bit of worm left. So what we'll go for. He ain't going to cut it there, guy. There's a keeper. And I'm all out of worm. Right for the last keeper. Alright. Time to do a little fish cleaning. Bluegill. I got a nine or so good ones. So. Alright. So first I can start up here at the shoulders, if you will. Cut down the back line backbone there touching ribs as you go kind of make an outline come up start working it off behind that gill plate going falling the ribs down I stop right there at the tail. I, some people will cut all the way through, and that's just not how I clean my fish. And then I flip her over, get right there, hold your knife at the right angle. Oh! Cut through the tail, like I don't like to do. And then you gotta come down here and then just follow that. off the skin. A little dirty right now, but we'll clean it up and get in the house. Another half stick of butter in there. We'll see if that's going to be enough. Ought to be enough to get started. Here in just a minute. Now we're going to put the onion in there. We're going to cook these till they get a little soft in the butter. We'll put a little garlic salt and then we'll put the fish over the top or in there after that. Close them up and let them cook a little while. Alright, we add a little bit of butter. That one will be quiet enough and we'll turn that butter down just a touch. A little bit of Lowry's garlic salt in here. Yeah, they're so thin. Yeah, they cook fast. How long do you think it'll take? I want to say, since we're losing a little heat here, probably eight minutes. Maybe a little more, maybe ten, we'll see. A little more garlic salt? Yeah, put a little more over the top. Probably, I'm guessing 10 minutes. I didn't watch. Peeked at it a couple times. But it's flaky. We broke that one. 
It's nice and flaky. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, too bad it's not smell of vision. <laughs> Cooking onions are not much better than that. So here's the final product. Tim Woods famous fish scampi. Bluegill edition. Do a little taste test. You gotta get, get some of them onions on there. It's the only way to do it. That might be your new favorite way to eat fish. So, thanks for watching. If you like more videos like this, leave me a comment down below and we might do some more. So, thanks for watching. See ya. Well, give this a try here. Mmm. That's, that's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That'll work.